Medicosis perfectionalis is back and today's topic is pericarditis slash pericardial tamponade. So there are some physical exam findings that can suggest the involvement of the pericardium. Let's learn them together. They will usually have the letter P or the letter D. For example, distant heart sounds, also known as muffled heart sounds. And why is that? Because when you have like pericardial tamponade or there is effusion or fluid surrounding the heart, the heart will be like kind of the sound will take more medium to go to your stethoscope. So you will hear the sounds distant. Also, you may have jugular venous distension. Why is that? Because this heart cannot diastole, cannot expand, cannot relax because of the fluid surrounding it. Cool. Also, there is diffuse ST elevation. It's not only like in lead 1 or lead 2, it's like diffuse throughout the EKG graph. Also, we will have pain on inspiration, okay? chest pain and pulsus paradoxus what's pulsus paradoxus it it's like decrease in the systolic pressure more than 10 millimeter mercury on inspiration there is a mechanism for that for example like if we have the heart here okay and there is the right and the left ventricles and we have fluid surrounding the heart. The venous return from the superior inferior vena cava occurs during inspiration. With this fluid surrounding the heart, the ventricle cannot relax. So the, flu the blood here will build up. It will push on the septum to the left side. So the left ventricle will decrease in size. So the blood flowing through the aorta will be less than usual so the systolic pressure will be less than usual by 10 millimeter mercury or more so that's the reason for pulses paradoxes note that the chest pain will be on lying back so as a response the patient will be sitting down why will it be sitting like sitting up like this because when he lie back, the pericardium stretches, and in pericarditis, it's inflamed. This will cause pain. So lying down will cause pain, so the patient will be sitting up to relieve the pain. Also, we have the big, big triad for cardiac tamponade. Jugular venous distension, hypotension, and distant heart sounds. Cool. Also in EKG, there is a phenomenon called electrical alternance, which is like weak beat followed by strong beat, then weak, then strong. Why is that? Because this heart and this fluid is kind of swinging and swimming. So it goes to the front and to the back, to the front and to the back, closer to the electrodes, away from the electrodes, closer to the electrodes, away from the electrodes. So we get this kind of up and down, up and down, electrical alternance. And that's it.